16 today and we got shoulders and we got triceps uh, so as you can tell my brain is starting to slow down not, not that it was fast in the beginning but um, you may feel a little bit slower in the brain because we've got such low fats in our diet brain function is down and that's quite normal you know the hormonal uh, levels are a little be a little bit off sleep can be erratic can be a little short-tempered um, and the thought process can be a little bit slow, slower than normal, which is bloody slow for me. So last week we prioritized our, um, uh, we did the shoulder press, but always prioritizing like the rear delts, side delts. This time we're prioritizing the front portion of the delts, doing the seated um, front raise with the dumbbells together here. So we did 10 repetitions seated. Rested for 10 seconds, that's the DTP extreme principle. Do the reps, replicate with the same amount of rest. And then we stood up and grabbed the same weight and performed another 10 repetitions. We wouldn't be able to do it sitting down because it would be too restricted. Standing up, we're able to use a little bit more momentum, a little bit more core strength. And now on set number three, we'll do the 10 repetitions, rest for 10 seconds, and then we've got 20 to perform. So we're gonna to have to drop down in weights there. Standing up, 20 reps, rest for 20 seconds, and get out another uh, 10 repetitions with the same weight. Okay, first set. Um, when I used to go too heavy on side raises, I'd feel it in the traps. So if you start feeling it in your traps, then maybe lighten the load and concentrate on the delt pulling your arms up. We did 10 sitting down, rested for 10 seconds, stood up, and I grabbed all of the same weight, so I'm fucking tough, and didn't relinquish to the lighter ones, and did another 10 reps, but it was bloody heavy. Got to failure about six repetitions. And then I had to rest pause. So just took a couple of deep breaths. So we got seven, rested, eight, rested, until we got to the 10. So make sure you always hit your numbers. And now we'll just rest for about a minute, taking the beautiful gym atmosphere. And go again for the third and final set, which will be the 10 to failure, 10 second rest. Drop lighter this time when we stand up because we've got 20, rest for 20, and do an extra 10 with the same weight. That's that done. Even though we've got a little glycogen in our body, because we're down to 0.52 grams of carbs per pound of body weight now, I can still feel a good pump there, you know. I got, you know, the pre-workout in helps with the coconut water, so I've got plenty of hydration in the body. So now we've done our two exercises there for the front and side portions of the uh, deltoid. Let's go and hit the rear portion now, so uh, let's change rooms. Our first set done of rear delts, so we're doing a standing uh, rear cable crossover. I think it did 13, 14 repetitions there, so I think I'll probably go a notch higher, heavier on the second set there, then drop the weight a little bit to get the 10 more reps out after the 10 second rest. So when you're doing this exercise, remember, don't use too much momentum because on any delt, rear delt movement, your rhomboids, your traps, sometimes your lats uh, will come into play just trying to get through this uh, exercise. If you go too heavy, it'll, you know, the stronger muscle groups will kind of take over from the poor little rear delt. So let's uh, give the rear delt some attention, not ignore it by going just a little bit lighter, a little bit slower, 
die Posen zu sagen. For our upper traps, um, just make make sure that you keep your your spine completely straight on this one. Don't round, don't arc. Keep it completely straight. And as you shrug down, if you've got if you need to have just a little slight bounce within your knees, just to soak up a bit of the shock as you go down, a little bit of suspension, if you will, then by all means do that. I have my knees slightly bent. I don't want them locked out when I'm uh, pulling heavy weight <sighs> at all, you know. Um, and uh, as I'm coming up, I pull up and contract, and all I'm trying to think about is bringing my delts up to touch my ears, even though that's not going to happen. That's what I want to do. I want to be deaf because my traps are so big, you know what I mean? We did 10 reps of failure there, rested for 10 seconds, did 10. 3rd set, as you know, will be 10, then we'll uh, rest for 10 and perform 20, so we'll have to go a little bit lighter on the set, and then with the same weight after 20 seconds, perform another 10, so it's going to be a lot of time under tension now, so make sure that you're wearing your, your wrist straps here, or your lifting straps, because with all that time under tension, you know the grip strength is going to go, you know, because the forearms can only carry so much weight that you're shrugging, unless you're one of these particular people that has an unassuming pastime in the evenings that use, uses your forearm strength, and maybe your forearms are overdeveloped, you'll need your straps. Now, re-energize yourself as if we're starting all over again. Just walked into the gym uh, to do uh, triceps. So kind of just take a little bit of time out, mentally refocus, re-energize, rehydrate, and let's smash uh, triceps with the same intensity. First exercise, as usual, doing a cable, doing a push down movement, just to really uh, warm up the elbow joints here. So uh, with the rope, uh, again, try to pull the ropes apart as much as possible to get a full contraction. Uh, but if you find that you've failed before your repetition range, then just wedge your hands together and it'll allow you just to get out a, a few more reps there. Okay, 10 reps, 10 second rest, and drop the weight and do another 10. Okay, so we've done the first exercise now. We've done the outer head of the tricep. And uh, we'll do another uh, movement, a push down movement now, uh, with a reverse grip. All right, second exercise here is the reverse cable extensions. And uh, we're doing one arm and then immediately moving on to the other. So we've done the set of 10 there, set of 10 here on the left and the right. Now when we do the second set, We'll perform the 10, do the 10 second rest, and perform the extra 10 once we've stripped the weight on one arm before moving to the next. So we always complete one arm's complete set, or sets, if they're drop sets within, before we move on to the, the second arm. Okay, so we've done two exercises for triceps, one more to go. So this is a seated uh, tricep extension. Um, it's a little bit stricter than doing your uh, standard standing uh, tricep extension, but it's good, you know, you can really isolate and contract the area that you're trying to focus on without having to worry about any core strength 
or stability, uh, you know, especially when you're doing the heavier reps. Okay, so just completed two sets here on the seated tricep uh, pushdowns with a V with a V bar. Uh, doing it seated like this isolates the area that much more. You know, you don't have to worry about using core strength or core stability. You know, using a heavy weight, trying to stand and lean forward uh, with that. So you get a good mind muscle connection and a great contraction. Uh, which is a great exercise to finish off with on the triceps to obliterate them and get the blood in there, you know. Finished off really strong there, good. I, I'm happy. But I'll take the post-workout shake now and get the cardio in, get that over and done with, and then we can get a meal in and then focus on the rest of the day on rest recovery until we perform our second cardio this evening of 45 minutes. So we've got 45 minutes now and 45 minutes to perform later. Remember to do your twists because as you're dieting down now, you want to make sure that your skin sucks in really tight around your waistline because when we carb load a little bit towards the end for our after pictures, we want to make sure that that skin is nice and tight sitting between our abs. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember tomorrow is a non-training day. You've got your cardio to perform where you're going to be increasing it by 10 minutes from last week, you got, um, you got 50 minutes to perform tomorrow and 50 minutes in the evening. You've still got 300 twists to do on your non-training days as well. But I've also got some tips in store for you, to, so make sure that you come back here tomorrow.